go, y'all. Let's go, let's go, let's go, y'all. Yo, what's up? Name is Jetly One, and welcome back to more Mario 64. As last episode, um, wait, I don't know what we did last episode. It's been a week since I went and recorded the last episode, and it's been a long week. But yes, welcome back to more Mario 64. As we return down here to Dire Dire Docks, just love this music. But uh, let's see, this star. Oh wait, hold up. Oh no, wrong mission. I got myself confused. I was coming in, it was like, okay, we're gonna do that really easy star where you just go to the bottom of the current. But no, that's in Jolly Roger Bay. Come on, get the chest, electrocute yourself if that's the wrong one. I think it's, oh, that's the right one. And then we go, not that one. I think we go over. This star is a little hard because there's that giant whirlpool in the middle and it will kill you if you go in it. I think it's this one next. No, maybe. We'll see if Mario would select it and the whirlpool wouldn't try to pull me back from it. Electrocuted. It's not it. Okay. It's the one over there. And then... I just know that I believe the one at the up by the whirlpool is the last one. So it's this one. I think it's in a circle. What? I thought that was... I think... Oh, uh, I don't know. The one over by the clam first. I just walked, swam right past the right one. Swim faster, Mario. We don't have time for your shenanigans dealing with the freaking whirlpool thing. Mario, chest, open it. His face, his face is stuck in the, like, okay, I, I don't get that. His face was stuck in the freaking chest. How did that not unlock it? Finicky, I can see through the floor. Executed, no. Not electrocuted. Yeah, and then we keep swimming around. This one's actually pretty easy just because the pattern is going in a circle. I was saying it was hard, but I knew it was like going in a circle. I thought it was going to be something different. I don't know. I don't know things. I'm going to pretend that I actually did know what was going on here. I figured, out it eventually. figured it out eventually, but here's the hard one because you can't die. You got to make sure you do not die. No! You don't want that to happen. No, and you have to actually run into the thing too, which is what's annoying. You have to run into the freaking chest face first. It's like I am having a hard enough time not just dying. Just go all the way over here. I can't move the cam camera. I've gotten too used to L target because the last games that I played, and I die while the star is coming out, and that's instant death too. That's instant death. That's so stupid. But yes, I got too used to L target from playing Madra's Mask in Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Let's do this professionally this time, since I know exactly where we're going. Down here. Get this first one. No derping around. How did that not activate it? I don't think they worked very hard to get those chests. I don't think they worked very hard to get the chests to work right. Because they only use them in two missions. So why would they? But that's kind of lazy considering this is Nintendo. They worked really hard on a bunch of other stuff. That got used even less. Like just think about Zelda. All the dungeon items you use exactly one dungeon. When was the last time you used the Cane of Burr in... Uh, or the, whatever that was, the cane that makes the blocks in Link to the Past. How often did you use that outside of Turtle Rock, huh? Nowhere? Case in point. This time, let's not die. Just run into the chest and then turn around. Okay, camera. This time, let's not die. Stay low to the ground. Low to the ground. No, no! Not happening. It's not happening. I will smack a harder than you can pull me in, game. You cannot defeat me. I am the almighty button masher. I do 15 damage every time I do the Diamond Star special attack in Paper Mario 1000 Year Door. Do you know how much button mashing that takes? A lot of it. A whole lot of it. Okay. Some more docks. Hole jumping for red coins. I'd rather not. Let's go for a hard one. 
See that manta ray? It's a manta ray. And if you swim through the little rings there, you can swim through five of them. Or, I missed. You've got to swim through. This one's kind of hard. But you see the ray swim through his rings without hitting the edges of them. Ow. Luckily, if you hit him, it just uh, knocks you back. It doesn't damage you. Which would suck. But you've got to go through the center of the ring. If you go through the sides of the ring, it doesn't count because Nintendo was being rude. Yep. Just wait for him to get a few and then pass the room. I also think they have to be a certain size before it counts. What the heck? Oh, and passing through them recovers air. Amazing. How does that not count? Ow. Knock me away, will you? One. Two. Come on. And that one spawned through me. What? Come on. Three. I think he makes them in groups of five, so if you screw up, you can't win. So stupid. Like I said, let's go for a hard star this time. Even though that last one got me dead a bunch of times. Four, five, can we do it? We did it. And look what they, look what they make you do. That's, that's not cool. That is not cool. That is not cool. It's not cool. If I'd have missed that, that'd have been some bad times. There have been some bad times going on in here, and wow, it's only seven minutes. I thought I'd wasted more time than that on that first star, that's why I was acting like, hey, let's just go get one of them and then end the episode here. No. Whole jumping red coins. I don't think about it. I'll probably try to just go find a whole different star. Because I'm lazy like that. I don't like doing red coin ones, especially not after the one in, uh... Thwomp's Fortress. I went and cleared Thwomp's Fortress fully there. I did all six stars. I didn't do the hundred coins, but that's probably the only one where I'm going to get all six stars. It's also the only one where I know what all six stars are. Even though, yes, I did have some confusion in, on Breakaway the Wall. I figured that out fast enough. So no whining, no whining. Let's see, I think there's another star for going through those rings. There. The ship. What? The ship is still here. I thought the ship left. Three, four, miss. Cursive. Let's see. Go line up. Okay. Five. Yep, you get a star for sitting there. I thought you had to actually be moving through them. But no. Uh, yeah, this is that one. Okay. There's a bunch of easy stars here, actually. Surprisingly. Okay. Need to go find... Certain thing. Let's see. We need to find a metal cap so we can hold ourselves down. In the water. Let's see. Metal cap. Metal cap. There's the... Okay. There's the vanish cap. Let me jump that. Okay. We need metal cap. Metal cap madness. Yippee. Fall faster, Mario. Come on. Metalhead Mario, get a move on. Run. Star? Yes. Here we go. There we go. Through the jet stream. That's at least a cool name to make up for how easy that was. It's like, hey, please stand still for a second. You'll get a star out of it. But enough about complaining. Let's just end the episode. This has been Gently One and Mario, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>